Borderline Personality Disorder, Adderall, aka meth. So, I have, a, I have a problem, a very serious problem, extremely serious actually, and that would be the fact that for the last three years, I have had a really, really good drug dealer hooking me up with, you know, my drug of choice. Consistently, without a hitch, in the last three years, there's been no hitches. I know what you're thinking. Well, then what's your problem? Well, there wasn't a problem. Until about a month ago. Maybe it's been a month and a half now. I don't know. But about a month, month and a half ago, the problem started. Ugh. Ah. 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 Holy shit. Ow. Oh, fuck. Sorry about that. That's a side effect that happens if I don't have my pills. Oh, fuck. All right. So, let me give you the lowdown, and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Three years, not a hiccup one. Until about a month, maybe a month and a half ago. When all of a sudden, I almost ran out of my medication. Almost. I didn't, but I almost ran out. And this is how steady my supply has been for three years. I never run out. Well, I hadn't in the last three years. I'd never ran out. Now, since I always, since I do have a very good addiction, <laughs> or bad, I guess it's point of view, but I wasn't a junkie. I'm still not a junkie. I'm a very consistent client. If you're a drug dealer, I'm probably like one of the best people you're going to run into. Because you'll know every week exactly how much money I'm going to spend and exactly how much medication I need. And it never changed. I was consistent with the money and it was a good amount. It still is a good amount. I mean, I'd say I'm spending about 200 a week for the pills. So, you know, 200 every week is good. And you know, sometimes I'll need a loan because I get paid every two weeks. So one week, you know, you'll get 200, but then you'll have to float me the next week, but then you're going to get 400. So I worked a lot on credit and stuff. And here's where the problem starts is this hookup is not being able to hook up consistently anymore. Then again, at the same time, after three years, I'm kind of strapped for cash. So we're both breaking our deal a little bit because I'm not able to provide the cash as steadily as I was before. You know, 400 one week, then you float me the next week and then I get you back. I'm breaking that part of the deal and needing more floats than I am providing cash, which starts adding up. At the same time, they're not getting the medication and having it available for me. And so the two of those happening at the same time has caused a situation where I'm only having my meds maybe four out of seven days. And that won't work. It's impossible for that to work. Because here's where the problem comes in. While I'm on my meds, nobody can tell. I get up in the morning, I go to work. I 
come home from work, watch a little TV, maybe make a video, eat some dinner, go to bed, get up, do it all over again. And my mood stays at an even kilter for the most part. I mean, I still have borderline personality disorder, so it's still, you know, a little up and down, a little up and down. But for the most part, it's an even kilter. Now here's what happens if I run out of my meds. I built up an I built up a dependency upon them, first of all. So without them, my body doesn't even know how to function. The problem with having a steady hookup for three years is, well, I take the meds just to feel normal. So without them, it's the same thing as if I was coming down off, you know, meth, pretty much. My whole body hurts. I can't wake up. There's no amount of coffee in the world that's going to get me out of bed. Without my meds, I will sleep for at least a week. After a week, maybe then I could start to maybe think about getting out of bed. But it's just sleep, eat, sleep, eat, sleep, eat for like a week. It's miserable. My depression goes through the roof. All, of, all those pains and trauma that I don't deal with, and I use the pills to keep me stable, all comes flooding back. It's a horrible experience. It's horrible. And if you do fight through it, you manage to get out of bed, you manage to go to work or interact with people, they definitely notice because your personality is different. I mean, when you're at work and you're about, I don't know, 75% slower than normal, you're crying uncontrollably and passing out, they usually notice. So when this first started, I'd just call in sick when I ran out of my meds. But like I said, this is consistently like four weeks in a row now. I've got, I've had meds for four out of seven days. And it's never, it's always in the middle of my week. Like I, I get the meds on my weekend and I think my hookup's going to be consistent because they have been in the past. And then midway through my week, I'm out of meds and they have no idea how to get me more meds. That has happened today, in fact. I had my meds today, so I can make this video. You probably won't see me for the next fuck until I get meds again. Who knows how long that'll be. That's why I'm trying to get this out before the meds wear off, because I know I'm probably not going to be able to do videos. And it's pissing me off, and it's upsetting me, and it's making me think, too. Like I said, I spent about $800 a month on meds. And I don't care about the money. I mean, if I did, I wouldn't spend the money on the meds. I know it's expensive, very expensive, but I know what I feel like without them is worth the price. To feel sane and normal and be able to function is worth $800 a month to me. It is. You know what's not worth it to me, though? is that every week I only get four days of that and then the rest of the week I have to feel like shit and I get four days and I gotta feel like shit and four if I'm gonna be doing that fuck it that 800 no longer is worth it to me the 800 is a fucking it's a deal it's a fucking deal you keep my pills coming I keep the money flowing well if I'm having to deal with not having pills then why the fuck should I keep giving you 800 bucks I might as well just ride the motherfucker out and get off the goddamn meds and feel like shit or whatever, but fuck it. I'd have 800 bucks. That might make me feel a little bit happy, maybe. I mean, you can't buy happiness, but maybe I could rent it. But isn't that what I've been doing? 